All right, I just got home from work today, and I'm going to try to finish this up as much as I can. Uh, pulled all the drives out, and I forgot it's actually really easy to get those back planes out. Each one just has two screws, and uh, you know, just disconnect the two connectors from the back. So I'm going to inspect the solder joints on that while I got this all apart. But I got to get my air compressor ready and uh, take this outside and uh, get all the dust cleaned out of it real quick. Ah, uh, <clears throat> much better. I can actually see through the heatsink fins now. And since nobody in this house smokes, uh, nothing was actually stuck uh, to the components. Everything just cleaned up real nice and looks almost new inside now. That dust cloud was something else. I wish I could have got it on camera. <laughs> I also took the power supply modules out and got the dust out of those. Still got to do the hard drives, but I think I'm going to vacuum those the best I can, and then I'll probably just blow those off uh, right here in my workshop because I won't make too much of a mess. But time to move on to the next step. Here's the back plane for that drive bay. Not really much to it, and it doesn't look all that bad. The little connector on the end there, I think, is just a diagnostic LED connector. Something that's not used in this machine, I know that. Another bit of a backstory on my file server. I have a pair of these same drives, the WD3200JB. It's a 320 gig IDE drive. Uh, I can't remember exactly when I bought these. I want to say sometime around 2005 or 2006. And, um, I was running these as a RAID 0 array in an old IBM NetServer E40 that I had fixed up. It was actually a, a Pentium Pro system. Um, and that was my first introduction to NAS Lite. And back during that time, I was using the floppy version of NAS Lite, which was really, really basic and really, really slow compared to what I'm running now. But I've kept these same two drives in the same RAID 0 array that I started with way back when and these drives have essentially been running 24-7 since the day they were new of course other than the times I've, I've transferred them between machines or done maintenance uh, it's been in three machines altogether the NetServer E40 when I first got them and then um, my first rack mount file server that had eight hard drives in it and then after I upgraded from that to this these drives are still running in their same array, uh, never been reformatted until until now uh, because when I'm done with this I'm going to be combining these two drives into the same array with the other six 320 gig drives that were in there. Um, back when I had my prior system I bought six of the Seagate 7200.10 drives and uh, two of them have died and I've been replacing them with uh, caviar blue every time one of them quits so but these two drives here have been the real workhorses they've been running for the longest and uh, never had a, a single problem with them even in raid zero never lost any data it was fairly impressive and um, it's too bad these are older than the other drives because the the speed difference is probably going to slow down the entire array a little bit but I'm not too worried about it um, these are actually cleaning up pretty good. I've been using the air compressor to blow the dust out of the filters and everything's looking real nice compared to what it was earlier. So I'm going to put all the 320 gig drives back in and uh, make my new array and while that's going on I'm probably going to mount the 250 gig drives in all their caddies. Alright, I just got done taking the old drives out of their caddies and these are the ones I'm going to be putting in their place. Um, I ran a test on each one of these drives and uh, four of them had 20,000 hours on them and two of them have 10,000 hours. So hopefully they have enough life left in them. There was no reallocated sectors or anything like that so they're just like the ones that I had in there before that uh, were salvaged from the old equipment that I had at work. Um, I actually got a, quite a good pile of these laying around. and. Um, since I'm using a RAID 5 array, I really don't care if one takes a crap while I'm while it's running. I'll just go grab another drive. 
I uh, found out that the drive on the very end of the, the uh, case there didn't have its air filter, which is why it was so dusty on that end of the server. But what I decided to do, instead of erasing my um, set of drives here that had some of my backups on it, I'm going to initialize the array of the 320 gig drives, uh, since there's nothing important on there, and uh, make sure that's up and running back up all my stuff onto that array and then when everything is verified as backed up successfully I'll initialize the second array that has all the, the 250 gig drives because I can't chance losing that data. Getting this fan assembly back in can be a real nightmare because it's a uh, real tight fit getting it past the top edge of the case and um, these legs here go all the way down to the bottom of the case so I gotta make sure all the cables are out of the way uh, over there they're not, but I've had a couple wires pinched already and um, luckily I double checked before I powered anything up, but I gotta try to get this doggone thing back in there without pinching any wires and then I can finally power this up and initialize that first array. And I forgot to bring home my cooling fan, so unfortunately um, I'm gonna have to do a, probably a third part to this video. Alright, minus those last couple drives. <clears throat> I've got everything back in, ready to power up. There's one thing I really can't stand about this case, is, and it's the um, the way the fans are situated. It's so much work to get all these wires uh, in there properly, and you know everything's just so tight that it's it's um, halfway blocking a couple of the fans on top of that, and uh, it's just so easy to get things in there wrong. But let's see what happens here. I'm going to try to get at least this first array set up and, and uh, re back up all my important data. So here we go. Hope nothing goes boom. Yeah, and there's that caddy with the bad LED, so I'll just have to remember that. Uh, put a little mark on it. Come on, baby. All right. Well, since there's nothing important on these 320 gig drives, I'm going to make a new array. Spacebar to select, go down and go to delete array. Okay. Now, we go back up, press the spacebar, and all eight of these drives, and go down to create array. We're going to do a RAID 5. Leave the stripe size at 64 kilobytes. Yeah, that's interesting. The array capacity will be limited to 2 terabytes. So, looks like I'm going to lose 200 gigs. I forgot about that limitation on these old controller cards. 2 terabytes per array maximum. That's kind of a bummer. Normally it should be 2.2, uh, so I'm almost wasting an entire drive. That kind of sucks. Alright. And I gotta play the waiting game. Now I can see all the drives are initializing on this controller. All the lights are blinking. 
One thing I don't like is I see one LED on on this controller here that I'm not doing anything with. Which means that one of these drives, I think it's this one right here actually, probably has something wrong with it. Um, I'm not going to touch it until this first array is ready because I need to uh, copy all my data back over. So, get back to this when it's ready for that anyway. Alright, a little more progress here. Uh, that drive that had the light stuck on had the jumper in the wrong position. It wasn't jumpered on master, I think it was on cable select. So the controller probably wasn't seeing it. And uh, I got the rest of the drives installed. These last three drives here are uh, the ones that had my existing array on it that I need to save, so I'm not going to initialize that other set of eight drives just yet. But my two terabyte array on the other controller is all done. So overnight tonight I'm going to do a backup of all my stuff, and then when that's done I'll format the second array and uh, do some finishing touches on the system, maybe add some more RAM and be good to go for a while. But since I'm going to be doing a backup of a lot of important data, I brought a UPS in here uh, in case we get any brief power outages or anything like that. This one doesn't have the best batteries in the world, but it'll give me a few minutes of runtime to to uh, shut everything down if I need if need be. Now this is a 900 watt rated UPS, 1250 volt amps. Let's see how much current this server pulls when it spins up the hard drives. Holy crap! Yeah, it's up there pretty good. That's probably about six or seven hundred watts there for a little bit. And it looks like it's going to settle back down at around uh, 250 or, or 300. Alright, I'm now formatting that big old two terabyte uh, array. It's going to take forever. You can see the uh, controller doing its thing in there. Flashy lights. Now I ended up pulling these other drives out um, because uh, it was actually mounting all the discs as, as uh, JBOD mode. And I had no way of knowing which one was which. I didn't want to format the wrong disc. So I just pulled them all out. And uh, I'm going to format the big array so I can do my backups. And then I'll finish this up tomorrow. Hopefully it will be the last part of the video because I really want to get this project done. Yeah, and pulling out half the hard drives cut the power usage in half too. It's only one load notch now. crap look at that system load that's a good thing I can get uh, another pair of processors for about 16 bucks on eBay I thought this was kind of funny I'm getting ready to go to bed here and uh, I got my computer running copying those files over and uh, my bedroom lights are on a, on a dimmer and they're down all the way which makes them sensitive to voltage fluctuation and uh, you can probably tell that the lights in the room are actually flickering with the hard drive access on my computer because the computer pulls just a little more power every time the hard drive reads. Alright, the second array is all up and running. Working like a charm. And I'm uh, transferring data to it right now. It's going to take me a long time to get everything transferred over and uh, my next part for this video I'm going to be installing some more RAM and a new pair of CPUs into this system so stay tuned. <laughs> 